What's going on everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Thursday, October the 27th, 2022. Today we're going to talk about a platform or an opportunity, I should say, that um, had not a good day the other day. And we got to talk about it. We talk about the good and we talk about the bad and the indifferent here, um, especially in everything, uh, exclusively in everything that we are a part of here at BOJ. And everyone knows that we are a part of Automated Capital. Uh, we experienced some loss the other day. And it was just, it's just, it's, it's, you know, I don't like it. I'll just say it like that. I don't like it. I don't like this um, part of what we have to go through, but it's a part of what we have to go through nonetheless. So we're going to talk about it. And um, before we get started, I want to remind all of you that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more. And nothing less than that. If you like this content, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you want to be updated and notified, go ahead and hit the bell. Um, let's go ahead and talk about it. So we're talking about automated capital in the NVFX broker. Um, and we're going to go ahead to the Telegram group where it shares with us the news of what's going on in the PAM account. All right. So this is the daily report from yesterday. Okay. Um, we were seeing some stuff yesterday. Uh, let's, let's start back from when they started talking about drawdown. So... Um, they start talking about drawdown on the daily report on the 25th. All right. So daily report says we will adjust the risk tomorrow because Thursday London session, major, uh, Euro news will be releasing the current drawdown at that time was 6.07%. They had made 1.4 for the day, 2.22 for the week and 20% for the month. All right. That was worth clapping up. And I don't think we had the opportunity to clap it up. So we're just going to clap it up just because. You know, we try to keep the positive vibes as long as we can. Of course, as you know, we know that the trading in this platform and in general is risky. Um, so we, you know, we don't have to go through the disclaimers all the time, but the disclaimer is there for all of us to read so we understand the risk. All right. Now, the next day, we're talking about good morning, AC community update on what's going on. We're currently in drawdown, which means open trades have lowered all pair risk, uh, which means there are open trades. We have lowered all pair risk. All right. So, it says mostly U, uh, EUR, USD, 14 to 15% drawdown, which is causing most of the drawdown. GBP, USD is currently only in 2.9% drawdown. So we, they were aware of this. They did take an L of 10% today, which will be posted at the 5 p.m. Eastern time. Losses open, uh, losses due to, uh, losses, let me read that again. Losses to do happen in markets I, I i guess they meant to say losses do happen in markets we always know that can't always it can't always in forex okay not the best grammar made my brain almost explode for a second trying to figure out what was being said but uh, fairly simple losses happen in the markets uh, can't always win in forex uh, system took out certain trades to take out drawdown equity protector wasn't hit we will be continuing to update everyone through the day all right so that was at 10.57 on yesterday in the a.m. Now around 11.46 a.m., they closed all the EUR USD trades. No more EUR USD trading until markets cool down. We are making ERU, or, or EUR USD very low settings for the future. We left GBP USD trades running since drawdown is super low. It is on very low settings. We will let those... Uh, help recover funds. Current drawdown is around 3.5%. We're taking the L on Euro USD. Um, Got to call him back. Um, we're looking into a few things currently, and we'll be keeping everyone updated throughout the day and week. So this was at 11.46. Now we are looking at, sorry, I hate when people call me during broad, when I'm when I'm recording. Anyway, Six o'clock p.m. yesterday. All right, today they took a twenty. This was yesterday that they took this hit. All right, I'm gonna blow this up so everybody can see. Twenty-four percent negative. Twenty-four percent loss for the day. For the week, negative twenty-two point three three percent. For the month, negative eight point seven three percent. All right. Um, so pretty much everything that had been done in the month of October was washed away. All the profit that was made this whole month was washed away. And we'd been talking about a rebound, a reboot, you know, 
trying to see it come back, wanting to see it come back. Um, I have not decided whether I'm going to decide to keep my money in automated capital or not. Um, I've seen it have really, really, really good months consecutively. Um, this recent month, these, these last, I guess you can say last two months, if you count the end of September um, and watching it go up just to take a huge hit like this is really discouraging. Um, and I understand everybody that's out there that feels that way. Um, now let's just read the daily report. It says markets have been very volatile, which they can be. So we understand the risk. We're not upset at the risk. We understand that this negative 24% day can happen. All right. So it says instead of equ uh, uh, equity protector getting hit, we mainly close all uh, EUR USD trades. Instead of making a th instead of taking a 30% hit, we took a 24.02% hit to not take any more loss. Current drawdown currently is 3.47%, which is low risk. Uh, we plan on moving forward. If you want to withdraw this Sunday, that's your right too. All right, they're letting you know, you know, if, if you plan on withdrawing this Sunday, then you have every right to do so. So um, I, have not con I have not decided whether I will be withdrawing this Sunday. Um, that's still something that I have a few days to decide. Uh, they do have a plan of action, which they will be releasing soon, um, and more updates coming soon. But um, there was just a few things that, you know, I didn't that didn't that didn't really rub me the right way. I like the excitement of trying to bounce back, but it doesn't seem like the focus was on bouncing back. It seemed like the focus has been getting more people, and. Um, getting more people involved. And, and there's nothing wrong with that because every Pam needs some funds to trade with, right? Um, but this is just discouraging. Just having, having one day that can blow pretty much all the work that the Pam account has done. Now, I didn't have to do any of this trading. So that's kind of the risk you take when you're getting involved with the Pam account. I'm not a trader. So for me, it's me entrusting my funds or, or deciding to... Um, put my capital into an opportunity that I hope will win, but sometimes could lose, right? It's just discouraging to see this. You know, when we go back up and we're seeing, you know, uh, um, what is this that I used to see all the time? It was like a record, right? You know, we're, we're happy to see that they reached 3,500 customers. That's fantastic. But that's 3,500 people that they're now accountable to um, to have some success. Here's what I didn't like to see. I didn't like to see these 19 and 0 trading day stuff. And it was cool to read, you know what I'm saying? That's fantastic, but it's inaccurate, right? Because that's just from the time that all of our funds pretty much were depleted, right? There's no, there's, and, and I appreciate the move forwardiveness, if that's even, that's not a word, but, um, you know, the ability for automated capital to decide, hey, we're gonna move forward, you know, we're gonna keep on going. But you can't forget the past, and, and when you have days like this, people are going to remind you of what you did before, right? You've had an instance where you've blown almost the whole account before, right? Now, I'm not saying this is a whole blown account now. you got to do what you got to do to protect the equity, and a lot of the leaders that are involved with automated capital um, are, uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to speak for them. I'm not going to speak for them. Um, but... Like everyone has the option to decide on Sunday to pull their um, whatever funds are left if they decide to, they can do that. Um, you know, we're supposed to be getting commissions and different things of, like, of that nature tomorrow from NVFX. And I don't really know what those look like anymore. Um, like, I, like I've already said, I, I never really understood the commission structure. I just knew that there was a point where we were making a whole lot of money on commissions from the trading that was going on. And then once that big hit was taken, we stopped making a whole lot of money, right? Whether people thought that NVFX was holding money out on its people or whether we were in the wrong um, commission structure based on what Automated Capital was trying to do. Um, they're, and, and Automated Capital is doing more things. They're trying to get charities involved and all this stuff, which is all great stuff. But the main thing that automated capital in my opinion needs to be focused on is regaining the capital that people lost 
in trusting them, right? And I don't think coming out and saying, oh, we're 1-0, 2-0, 15-0, 19-0 was the best approach to that because you're not 19-0. You're not 20-0, you know? It's almost like... It's almost like if you were, and I'm a football fan, right? Y'all could tell I don't have the best team in the world. So y'all know I'm, I'm used to dealing with ad, uh, uh, adverse situations when it comes to my sports teams, right? So this is not something unnew to, for me. But this is almost like your team, like the Eagles, right? They're undefeated, right? Say if they won every single game until they got to the next Washington game and they lose, right? Now, in the NFL, if you lose just one game, that's not going to keep you from the playoffs, right? If you go 16 and if you go 16 and 1, you still make it to the playoffs. Matter of fact, you probably won your division. You probably won a first round bye. But what, what this happens is if you do the same logic with something like this where you say, "Hey, I was 19 and 0 yesterday, but then I have a day like this where I lost 24%." That don't make you 19 and 1 necessarily yeah you had one losing day but if you lose everything in that day that really almost makes you 0 and 19 because you can have an account that has a hundred thousand dollars in it and if it depletes its whole hundred thousand dollars in a in one loss then you've lost it all you've lost the whole season it's almost like going to the super bowl after an undefeated season like the patriots and you lose in the super bowl it's almost like all that work that you did it's for nothing now. No Super Bowl ring, no Super Bowl trophy. Yeah, you got the trip to wherever the Super Bowl was. You got to perform on television in front of your family and friends. Might have even got some tickets and all that great stuff. I hope this analogy is making sense. Maybe it's not. But for me, it's just, it's just the best way to explain what's going on. We lost a lot. And um, to be at a loss this month, this late at the month, like, at the end of the month, we've watched this thing continuously win all month, trying to rebound our capital, right? And then it just has one day of losing, maybe two days of losing, and it pretty much blows all the work that we did the whole month. Not excited about that. Um, I don't know who could be excited about that. Um, you know, so with that being said, I just had to put that out there. I know there's going to be different people that feel whatever. Just understand that we're in this space to be accountable, right? I'm accountable for my own decisions. I decided to put my own capital in here, so I'm the one that has to bite the bullet whether it loses or wins, right? You know, it's like the head coach. We're, we're you know, when everything works right, we're the best coach in the world. When everything doesn't work right, we are the worst coach in the world. So, but I want to make sure that everyone understands that we're all on, we're all accountable for our decisions. I'm not blaming any of the leadership at Automated Capital. I don't believe that they're trying to scam anybody. Like a lot of these opportunities are really just scam opportunities. I think this is a real legit opportunity that's trying to figure out the best course of action to move in this market that is very volatile. I do believe that. However, not too happy about experiencing a 24% loss in one day in one day not very excited about that so that's just my opinion i know some people are going to feel a little bit worse some people may feel a little bit better i know there's people that have more capital in here than i have i know there's people that have less but i'm just here to share with you guys what's going on and this is what's going on here at boj all right so with that being said please put your 2fa on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wilds because crypto is indeed the wild wild west and if you ain't strapped you're bound to get hacked forex is the wild wild west so if you ain't if you ain't comfortable with what's going on in the forex market then hey either get comfortable or don't play all right if you ain't strapped you're bound to get hacked that's for the 2fa ask me how i know it's not very fun at all if you like this content though go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here boj make sure you hit the notification bell as well this is Automated Capital on the NVFX broker. Yes, we are experiencing some loss. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. And um, I have not decided whether I will be going through another month of this. Uh, I have to do some sitting down and thinking and, and praying. And um, we'll see what happens. But um, there's plenty of opportunities out here that I'm glad about that are working, that are not experiencing 24% losses in a day. And that's just the risk that we can take. 
Um, there's a lot of people out here still playing the hype space where the platform can be here today and completely gone tomorrow with no chance of getting anything back. At least there is a chance of this fighting back and earning, um, getting back to where it was. It's just a grim day right now. It's a grim day. So um, I'm not going to make any crazy, emotional, irrational decisions. But over the next few days, I will decide whether um, automated capital is something that I want to be in or not. All right. Um, and I hope all of you make that that decision for yourself. Okay. You don't base it off of what I'm doing. Base it off of whatever your principles are, whatever your goals are, whatever you're trying to accomplish in this space. All right. With that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.